your unique story our global audience global one media Welcome to Global One Media's exclusive one-on-one interviews with company executives sharing insights into their unique journey. I'm your host, Ashley Berry, and today, Patrick Cruikshank, CEO and Director of Nine Mile Metals, is here with us, a mineral exploration company focused on critical minerals exploration in the world-famous Bathurst Mining Camp in New Brunswick, Canada. Nine Mile Metals is listed on the Canadian Stock Exchange as Nine, the OTC CQB as VMSXF and the Frankfurt Exchange as KQ9. Patrick, it is a pleasure to have you with us today. Well, thank you for inviting me. A pleasure to be here. Wonderful. So let us start by learning more about Nine Mile Metals. Perhaps you could give us an overview of your company, your capabilities, and your unique story of how it all started. Sure. Uh, Nine Mile Metals is a Canadian junior exploration company focusing in critical mineral exploration in the, as you said, the Bathurst Mining Camp in New Brunswick, Canada, uh, probably the third largest mining camp in the world and home to the famous Brunswick number 12 and number six mines. Um, We're a little bit different. Uh, We utilize leading edge technology to assist in in the the new exploration model. And um, we are a living tombstone, I believe, for where this technology is going to take exploration. Um, primarily, about every 20 years, there's a breakthrough in geological and geophysical uh, technology that is followed by a rash of new discoveries. And we believe we're, we're leading that right now in Bathurst. So you mentioned living tombstone. Maybe you can explain a little bit uh, more in depth about what exactly you mean. I think that's very interesting. Yeah, uh, like I said, uh, since the 50s and 60s and 70s, every 20 years, roughly, there's a breakthrough in technology, whether it's the airborne technology with the helicopters, with VTEM technology, or it's magnetics, or it's or it's gravity. And um, and then there's always a rash of discoveries of, of new technology um, exploration. The problem with the Bathurst mining camp is there's only 1% uh, outcrop of mineralization. 99% of these deposits are are hidden. Uh, It's very complex. There's been lots of folding and and thrust faults and so on over the 470 million year volcanic event that created these deposits. And the government and and ourselves, we believe there's only about 30% of these deposits have been found and 70% are still out there. And um, we use uh, high definition UAV drones with proprietary algorithms and and LIDAR and GPS, and it can shoot uh, magnetics into the ground up to a kilometer and give us 3D models. So taking away a lot of the uh, the risk and exploration in drilling and and in the past, um, we also utilize artificial intelligence and machine learning with all the 46 deposits that are in the camp, and 25 of those are over a million tons in size, and teach the, the computer modeling to uh, not only learn go, looking backwards, but also forecast looking forward for prospective areas when certain um, certain items and criteria are met. So we're right on the leading edge, and uh, what I meant about living tombstone is we've we are now in our third drill program. Uh, the first two were exceptionally um, uh, successful. Uh, we always look at uh, on, on drill program. You, were, you used to be excited and happy if you hit one average hole out of ten. Um, in our Nine Mile Brook uh, flagship project, we hit six uh, drill holes out of six, um, up to some fan- the, actually the highest grade drill holes ever recorded in the camp. Um, give you an example, uh, roughly about 10% copper, uh, you know, 15 to 20% lead zinc, uh, up to nine ounces silver and up to almost two grams of gold over 10 to 19 meters. And just for an example, uh, 10% copper over 19 meters is the same as 1% copper over 190 meters. So it kind of gives you the, the size and scale of, and the density of some of these deposits. Uh, we followed that up with California Lake, um, which is another project of ours in the famous camp. 
and, and we drilled eight DMS target holes and hit mineralization on seven of them. So that's what I mean about we are constantly evolving with our technological model and and really de-risking our platform going forward. And uh, we're very excited with where we're going and and where we are in the Bathurst mining camp is the most complex area, mm-hmm. the highest folded, we call it the saddle. And it's seven parallel folds full of mineralization and it's very complex. That's why people haven't found it. And, you know, things are, the geologists love it because they they uh, they like the plumbing, as they say. The more <laughs> plumbing, the better. And uh, but it is complex, and that's why people haven't uh, been successful in the past. But until this technology came, um, this is is quite an industry game changer. And and the tombstone is is our track record of of how successful drilling programs. Really, it sounds like cutting edge technology, really unbelievable innovations underway. You know, there's all this talk about critical minerals. You had mentioned copper and zinc and lead. And so I think it would be helpful, perhaps, if you could explain what is unique, because there's a lot of talk about VMS property, how it differs from others. And and for those who are unfamiliar with VMS, it stands for volcanic massive sulfide. And those deposits are one of the richest sources of metals. As you said, Patrick, copper, lead, and zinc globally. It might be helpful for our audience to understand because there's a lot of talk about that I see on your website and in your press releases. Yes, uh, vo- volcanic massive sulfides are, are unique and uh, they're very economic. Um, like I said, it's a, a volcano or a black smoker event. You know, 470 million years ago, these were spewing out almost solid mineralization for millions of years and creating these deposits. Um, and, and it is the copper, lead, zinc, silver, and gold, mm-hmm. and uh, very, very economic from a small environmental footprint. Um, and, and the famous Brunswick number 12 was 330 million tons, which produced about 135 million tons of, of finished ore. And uh, that went for 50 years, roughly. and uh, Closed primarily because of safety. Um, mm. These are vertical deposits, okay, about 60 to 80 degrees. They were originally horizontal, but with the folding and everything, these are vertical deposits. And, and what's hard to understand is the surface footprints, only 500 to 600 meters, but they go down almost a mile. Mm. So they're, and, and they can open up and so on. So that's why it's been very hard to uh, to explore and find them without new technology, um, but the the famous number 12 uh, did go for over 50 years and not, it closed not because it ran out of ore, it, because it became unsafe. You know, this these started mining in the 50s and 60s, so the uh, exploration um, technology and engineering isn't what it is today. And you you had touched on earlier about your really fascinating, in my opinion, modern, advanced approach to exploration. Perhaps you can elaborate a little further on the approach and how it can improve exploration outcomes in the future. Yes, uh, we're very proud of it. We're very uh, uh, dedicated to our to our scientific approach. So primarily, the the life cycle would be any project we acquire. Or, or land package, we will take all the existing public information, uh, the government data, uh, previous explorers and prospectors, and any geophysical uh, mapping and so on, digitize those, and we'll reprocess them with, with leading edge algorithms and filter out a lot of the conductive uh, uh, mm. imagery and responses, and, and we'll use a, 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 our technical partner, EarthX, out of uh, Winnipeg area and Manitoba, leading leading company on 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 this space in the in the in the world, and um, and reprocess it and filter it out and give us our targets, our electronic magnetic targets and and you know I, I'm not a geologist so there there could be 50 60 different layers of geophysics but uh, and we have a live 3D model of our projects going down up to almost a kilometer. And, and giving us the body definition subsurface. Mm. So no longer are you you drilling and hoping, you know, uh, we actually have a, a targeted body. Um, 
the 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 biggest thing we have is for economic exploration you know we all have shareholders and and in the past it would take up to about five years to go through all the stages of exploration you know and on every square inch of your property looking at the geology and the soil sampling and and the glacier uh movements and and so on now we reprocess our data and get get our targets and then we just spend our shareholders money and our exploration efforts on the targets not on the other areas that don't have targets so we save time we save money and 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 obviously the technology is very advanced uh and that's just stage 1 stage 2 is then we will take after our targets we will we will fly uav drones mm-hmm. that have built in anti collision that can hug you know hug the topography you know 10 feet off the ground and anti-collision for treetops and so on. And we will fly computerized grids, uh, 25 meter spacing over, you know, we just finished one on nine mile, our flagship that was a thousand kilometers. And, and it does again, high, high definition UAV down to almost a kilometer. So we will process it into 3D imagery and, and it's, it's phenomenal definition. Um, and we can filter out other things like graphite and other things that are conductive and, and so on and just focus on the magnetic signal that is the late time conductor and what we mean by that is is when you charge the ground what holds the charge the longest before it dissipates that charge and we believe that is the dms deposit so as all these things evolving and you keep tuning it and it keeps advancing the algorithms keep getting updated and and and, and better and uh, we have incorporated Windfall Geotech uh, for artificial intelligence, who are working with EarthEx and, and our geo geo team um, as a unified unit, and and moving forward um, in this really fascinating, complex part of the camp. And uh, we, you know, we very much believe that we're going to have very good success in our four projects in in this area. Absolutely. It really sounds like the way of the future. And you really have rallied around that and are using these these innovations uh, for your exploration projects, which you don't really hear a lot about because it's 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 almost taking a chance. And and you've been so successful in what you've done so far. And you also mentioned the shareholders uh, and their level of commitment. Clearly, they're seeing uh, the energy and the enthusiasm and and what it is that you have accomplished so far. Um, Let's talk a little bit about their level of commitment as well as potential investors who should get excited and why they should get excited about Nine Mile Metals. Yeah, I mean, I, I believe we're we're very early stage. Um, we have, you know, obviously, we believe for extremely high priority projects. We just added one just recently, last week, uh, Cal- um, uh, the Wedge Project, we call it. We're focusing in one region of the camp, and we're becoming very knowledgeable in that and and the geology and and so on. So our model is really specifically for this area, and we believe we semi have the roadmap for uh, backward looking uh, deposits and also forward looking, uh, 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 sorry, uh, predicted uh, deposit Mm -hmm. areas. Sure. And, you know, you know, some of these exploration projects can be challenging. You did talk a little bit about the the de-risking uh, exploration projects, but, but how really do you um, ensure efficiency with these? Uh, well, obviously, we're doing our job properly, uh, de-risking it for for the shareholder and and f- for the company and and our and our exploration budget. Uh, we're very prudent with our with our financials. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, uh, like I said, the economic exploration model we have is is you know a lot of companies have great projects, but it, I think on average, I heard this this once where the seventh company is the one that has the discovery. And it's because a lot of companies, you know, it's such a big uh, model and, and a evolution of the exploration process that depending on economics, uh, can they actually have success, which allows them to 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 raise funds and additional uh, fundraising as well to continue the project. Um, 
you know, we we have streamlined that and we have early success. And, you know, obviously we believe our due diligence process for for acquiring and, and choosing our projects and and the price we pay for these all lead to a successful model for us. You know, we we treat it like it's our own money, obviously, right? Of course. What gets you so excited at the end of the day when when you you know you're talking about these three D models and the lidar and the drones and I mean it it really is fascinating work. Uh, what gets you most excited about what you do? Um, I think it's I think it's uh, delivering on our mission statement. Um, having success in the field, it is a very hard um, uh, industry. Uh, Mother Nature sometimes is not friendly, right? <laughs> Especially um, up there. <laughs> and, but I'm I'm very tech centric, and 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 obviously, we believe in our technology. We think we're leading edge. I think it's going to be. It's already working. This technology in other areas uh, in the world. And um, and our partners are having great success, and I do believe it's industry changing. We're in a in a jurisdiction in, in New Brunswick that is so uh, supportive. The New Brunswick Department of Energy and Mines I mean, would not have nothing uh, short of success uh, support for us with uh, you know PhD structural geologists of the camp. They're experts. They're sharing information. They're they're uh, there's a wonderful. Um, community here with very knowledgeable uh mining community and they would again they would love nothing more than to have uh, uh more producing mines here and uh going forward in the ev revolution obviously this is uh, a new sector that is only to get more important going forward Wonderful. Patrick Crookshank, CEO and director of Nine Mile Metals. Thank you so much for your time and for sharing all these exciting updates and your mission. We look forward to sharing more from Nine Mile Metals with our audience. Well, thank you for having me. 